live here in Idabelle, Oklahoma. We have uh, Story Brahma Ranch. We run Rustered Brahman Cattle. And then we also have a rock quarry. Uh, we employ about 20 people. Uh, we make a road-based material for uh, log roads, uh, roads in general. Our material goes about 150 miles one way. Goes uh, Most of it goes to Northeast Texas. My great-granddad started it and my dad really uh, brought it further along in 1968 and then we just built from there. Since we started in 1968, we're the 32nd oldest active Brahma breeder in the United States. And they've been good to us. We just like the Brahman cattle because uh, they're aggressive as far as taking care of themselves. And if you handle them right and treat them like you want to be treated, they'll be gentle as you seem today. Brahman cattle are known for their hardiness, their insect and disease resistance, and their heat tolerance. We're the only breed of cattle that have sweat glands, which you'll see sometimes they'll have darker brown spots, and that means that their sweat has come out and they're doing good. Normally our cattle, while the English breeds are in the pools during the summertime, ours are out thriving. I like the Brahman cattle because they're more hardy, they're kind of like a longhorn. They'll, uh, they'll really hustle. Uh, and I think it's just a, a good breed. It's kind of like my dad will, has mentioned several times. I think the third time you cross cattle, the better they get. I mean, you can take a Brahmin cow with a Hereford bull and you have the F1, and then you can come back with Angus or Charlay or whatever breed you want to, to have a good commercial cow. I think it's very important for kids to be out and get involved and see how the, the world works as far as in the cattle industry. Uh, my daughter, I guess that's a whole other story, was a uh, page for the United States Senate and she was in all of the kids that didn't know where milk come from. I mean, you know, you, she called me from DC, Washington, D.C. and said, Dad, these kids does not even know where milk comes from. They think you just go to the grocery store and get it. I mean, they have no idea of how things become. For me, as a young individual in this industry, I've, I've got to see how, what it means to struggle. I'm not only a young person, but I'm also a female in a male-dominated industry. Most farmers, on average, are 55 years age and up. And with that being said, that means that these, all these people have so many years of experience and knowledge on me. And that means that I have to play a little bit of catch-up, which is something I've never been afraid of. But as a youth, I have to understand that this is an industry that means work, but it's also an industry that has the greatest give back. We have the opportunity as young individuals to go out and make a name for ourselves, raise those awesome cattle, be able to show our kids what it means to be a true uh, cattle breeder. And I've had the experience of a lifetime because I've not only got to travel the nation and see different aspects of what the United States has to offer and the cattle that it has, but also the people. Because as ranchers, we are cultivating cattle and relationships. We are understanding what it means to be a steward of the land and a steward of our animals. We have a right and an opportunity and a duty to do the best we can and do right by every individual that we come into contact with. Well, the family being good and healthy is uh, probably the most important thing. I couldn't ask for any more, any better. I had the most wonderful mother and daddy anybody could uh, could ever have. And uh, by Charlene and our two kids, uh, it's, it couldn't have been any better. And the rough times we had getting to where we're at, and we still enjoy it. And, uh, we share some of our profits with other people. We donate and to fundraisings and uh, with our construction and cattle and Indian heritage and Arkansas blood uh, combined, uh, we, we made it pretty well. <laughs>